how to run Mabel coverage in Madden 25 and why it is probably one of the best ways to play coverage in this game. It's actually better than it has ever been. And with the rise of disengaged defenses, this coverage is super, super effective. Now, I am actually going to be in the 4-3 over defense. We actually just dropped a brand new defensive ebook on the 4-3 over defense in our school community. If you guys want to check out the school site, school.com slash Cody Ballard. The link is in the description below. $10 gets you unlimited access to all of the content on the site, all of my offensive and defensive ebooks for both Madden and for College Football 25, as well as exclusive tip videos, including one of the best blitzes in the game that nobody even is aware of at this point in the year and why it is effective. So if you guys want to take your Madden game or College Football game to the next level, Join the school community today for just 10 bucks. The link is going to be in the description below. Let's talk about Mabel coverage and why you Mabel and what is Mabel and how you Mabel in this game. It is different than it has been in previous years. And I'm going to be choosing this play cover four quarters. Um, you could do this out of cover two or Tampa two, and we're going to get into all of that here. But we're just going to choose cover four quarters from our menu. Now, in this game, what a Mabel coverage is, is a Mabel coverage is also known as a double flat coverage or a zone bracket where we're going to have a deep zone. I actually forgot to show you that in the coaching adjustments. We're going to have a deep flat zone and an underneath flat zone. So if you go into your coach adjustments here, you're going to see that we can have our flats on 25 and our curl flats on five. Now in this game, you can also flip flop this and put your curl flats on 25 because they actually get back really well this year. And you could leave your flats on default, and you could just shade your flats underneath to play hard flat coverage. That being said, we're going to show you kind of a traditional Mabel look here today and explain, I think, one of the best features in this game that we haven't really seen in a long time. So cover four quarters is the, uh, the play that we're going to come out in, and we're going to create a double flat. Now, if you were to do this out of, let's say, a cover three coverage in which you have curl flats, and we're just going to put these two cloud flats out here, and then maybe we take these linebackers, and essentially the way you'd always do this is you'd put your linebackers on curl flats, your outside guys on uh, cloud flats, and then your safeties on deep halves or inside quarters. Now, you're going to notice here that if I do that, this, uh, this tight end route is – is going to basically be able to be thrown all the time. The five-yard curl flat does not play five yards. The five-yard curl flat plays more like 10 to 15 yards, like a standard curl flat will. However, there are other purple zones in this game that get affected by that adjustment. The other problem with this is if I was to press my cloud flats, let's say that they run a street corner flat. Remember, I have those cloud flats set to play a depth of 25 yards, which would cover this cor this corner route. But what you're going to see here is a press cloud is not going to be able to do that. Now, that's just how good 4-3 over is. But, you know, and I'll just spy this so that you can kind of see what I'm showing here. But if we press and we put these guys in clouds, you're going to notice here that this corner route is not going to be able to be defended well. It's just going to get wide open over the top of the cloud flat, all right? Now, one of the things hopefully you saw there, though, in that, little, in that little clip is if you take a look at these stock quarter flats in cover four quarters. Stock quarter flats um, or quarter flats in general, they will play super low when you put them on zone drops. As you see here, this is what we want. This is going to take away those low flat passes like flat routes, uh, wheel routes, table routes, all of that stuff. That's exactly what we want. So we're going to be able to kind of build around this. So we're going to use these quarter flats to play that underneath zone in the Mabel coverage. The quarter flat will get the depth where the, cl uh, where the curl flat will not. You'll see here, if I try to throw this flat route to my tight end, this quarter flat will play that at a five-yard depth. Now, obviously, you got to click on and make a play there. And one of the simple tips that I can give you is to get better leverage by spreading your linebackers in this defense. And you'll see here that we'll be able to kind of craft this coverage. So now that quarter flat's a little bit more out there. We run double post. And you're going to see here that this guy gets that sideline depth. And again, all we got to do is click on and make an interception. So we're able to play flats well with quarter flats. Another zone that can do this same basic logic is a seam flat. If I was to put these guys in seam flats, you're going to notice that they will also play a little bit more out to the sideline and play the flat a little bit better. Okay. Now, I think the quarter flats are the best, but you could also use a seam flat if that's what you have in your playbook. That being said, let's go ahead and talk about the rest of this, which is the 
the uh, flat zones. So in this game, actually, if you go ahead and put these outside corners on hard flats, they will get better depth when they are pressed. So you're going to see here, I'm going to go back to that curl flat play and watch this, watch this hard flat just get back there and absolutely take away this deep corner route, whereas the cloud left it open by about 15 to 20 yards. The other thing that is so so cool about this is this year this can look just like a cover four coverage and now we just have these 25 yard uh, cloud flats now what's also really cool is because we're in quarters there is some really uh, interesting things you can do with quarters this year so what you can get with these quarters is these inside quarters are really good at defending any kind of like big play over the top so this this quarters out of the cover four you're going to see here that this, like this double post, for example, watch how it defends this post. You'll see that this inside quarter actually kind of handles the post route in terms of like keeping it from a big play potential. So the reason I'm saying that is you don't have to put these guys in outside halves if you don't want to. Now, you certainly can. Um, you can put a maybe a deep half to the wide side of the field or something. But I like to kind of just sit in there with the inside quarters. I think the inside quarters do a really good job. I like to bring my safeties down into the into the box to so that they'll play kind of those seam areas of the field a little bit better you know but you see right here i mean we're able to play pretty much everything that we need to be able to play and then you see late that that inside quarter will match onto him so i did want to show you one other little thing that's kind of advanced with this and that is this match concept so these quarter zones actually have a matching principle because cover four quarters is a match coverage play they have a, a little bit of match built into the into the play itself that even though you do set zone drops and it does cancel the match, the zones will react better. So you're going to see here, if I just kind of try to throw this, that inside quarter, actually didn't play that super well there. Um, but normally he will, he will kind of match to that post route. So again, all we're doing is we're just pressing, putting these guys in hard flats. I like to pinch and crash down. I think that gets the best sheds in the game. And then you can basically, in this situation, we can just go user the post route uh, with the disengaged logic. It's going to be super effective. So this is how to Mabel coverage. And you can do this out of literally anything. The other thing that you can do, like let's say you're, you know, you're watching this. If you want to just send three, feel free to bluff blitz one of your defensive linemen. You don't have to, you don't have to keep them blitzing. Also, you can... Um, you know, if you want to back off these outside guys, you certainly can do that. There's no reason not. There's no reason you can't do that. It, I just wanted you to see that even if you did do that, you're going to see here. Look at this hard flat. Just absolutely play that crosser. So what this does, what Mabel coverage does, is it creates a zone bracket on the sideline. You don't have to Mabel both sides either. You could do a defense like this, where you know we end up going with kind of a, a quarter quarter half concept, and then on the back side of this, we're able to just simply play good defense. So you'll see something like this where we're able to kind of have that three wreck underneath and then we also have those those uh, nice quarter flats that are going to be able to play the underneath flat routes really really well so this is the best way in my opinion to run mabel defense this year uh, is to use this kind of cover four quarters because you have these stock quarter flats all you're doing is you're just going to put those outside corners and hard flats and then if you want to put the deep halves on the field you know you could be my guest to do that and this is just a really, really, really good defense. It's hard to beat. Um, it's going to take specific route combinations to beat it. And because you get that press, so it looks exactly the same as cover four, it looks like, like for example, you know, we could be sending a send five pressure here on the left side, and it looks exactly the same as our max coverage defense. So this is one of the reasons why I think 4-3 over is really good in this game. And if you guys want to check out my entire defensive ebook on it, make sure that you join the school community by clicking the link in the description below.